right guys, welcome to today's episode of the vlog series. Today we're going to talk to you about some of the differences between working with NHS England and NHS Wales for any of you that are interested in a career working in Wales. Okay, the very first question we always get asked when we're talking about jobs in Wales is will I need to speak Welsh? Will I need to speak a different language? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Uh, the first language in Wales is English. Um, all of your colleagues, uh, all of your patients will be able to speak English. Just under a third of the population do know the Welsh language and it is still taught in schools. So if you have children, they may well find themselves learning a bit of Welsh at school. But first and foremost, English is the first language and that is the only language that you will need to know. Okay, one of the big questions that we get asked about working in Wales is what's the difference between an NHS trust in England and a health board in Wales? Uh, and there is a bit of a distinction. So um, the NHS in England is made up of 240 trusts. There are three trusts in Wales, but they cover the entirety of Wales. That's the Valindra for Cancer Services, the Ambulance Service and Public Health Wales, uh, which cover the whole country. But apart from that, there are seven health boards. Now, the main difference, and it's not a huge one, but the main difference between a health board and a trust is that the health board covers an entire geographical region. So it encompasses all mental health, community health, primary care GPs, as well as the acute trusts. Whereas in England, you may find that they are separate services. So um, there'll be a separate trust for the mental health um, community departments and then for primary care and then for the acute trusts themselves. But apart from that, the, the setup is much the same within the actual acute trusts that we're usually talking about when we speak to you about jobs. Okay, so another big question we get asked, and one of the, I guess, big reference points for doctors when they're choosing their um, trust in NHS England is to have a look at the CQC report. Now, in Wales, you'll notice that there aren't any CQC reports, so the Health Inspectorate Wales is the equivalent. Um, now, it's done in much the same way, but of course, you'll just need to look in a different place to find it. Um, outcomes are measured against quality of patient experience, delivery of safe and effective care, and quality of management and leadership. So very much the same as the CQC, but you'll just need to look in a different place to find it. Okay, there is definitely a huge misconception that Wales is purely a rural area with absolutely nothing there, and it is simply not the case. Um, just as for any of our candidates that say to us, I'd like to work in Birmingham, they might want to consider something in Walsall or Wolverhampton, or in Manchester, they want to consider things in Salford and uh, Macclesfield. Uh, if they want to work in London, they might consider things in Kent and Hertfordshire. It's exactly the same in Wales. You've got the big cities of Cardiff and Swansea, um, but then you've got a number of smaller towns surrounding those. Uh, places like Merthyr, Newport, all around South Wales. It's a quite a densely populated area because most of the population live on the south coast of Wales. So people are often surprised to learn that the access to public transport is incredible. The schools are really good. There's actually a lot of places of worship which can be super important for our international candidates. So it's actually not the rural area that you may have misconceived it to be. Um, there's a heck of a lot more to it than just that. Okay, we are actively working on a number of roles in NHS Wales at the moment. So if you would like more information about working in Wales, then please do get in touch. And we'd be most happy to help. Uh, we're looking for people across all the specialities. So honestly, get in touch. If you've got any questions about it, if you've just got some interest, then please let us know. And we'd be happy to divulge more information. Um, as always, thanks so much for listening. Uh, we'll put the contact details up at the end of the video.